Here you go, doggy. Yeah, what? Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Take care, dude. Good morning, guys. <laughs> Probably wondering why I'm sweating so vigorously because I had one of the best sessions ever just now. There's an idea that I thought would be pretty fun to try on my channel, but I was gonna show you guys, I am gonna show you guys, my sponsor me tape that I sent to Revive Skateboards from the get-go, one major reason that I got on the team. For those of you who are new to my channel, Revive Skateboards is a company out of Cincinnati, Ohio. They make skateboard decks, I don't know how to talk. They make skateboard decks, they're awesome. Anyways, here's the tape. But I used the raw footage from this, sent it to Andy Schrock, and he was impressed, which is awesome. But I'm gonna go through it right now and sort of give my take on the footage itself, talk about a few things, but if you wanna see the raw footage, you can go in the description below, click the link, and it's just the raw two minutes or so footage of skateboarding. So let us begin. Okay, starting off skating handrails, which is really unique for me, and doing tricks that I'm very proud of, that second trick, try not to update too much. The second trick I got worked on, and I hated skating handrails. I absolutely hated it, but I did it because I thought companies were really into it. So I would just try my damnedest, and I'm super glad I did because now I have somewhat of a comfortability with handrails, but I don't really like them. They're not that fun for me. Uh, they hurt, they're anxiety inducing. Moving on. This is probably the trick that got the most love that I've ever done. That's so weird. The guy who filmed all of this is calling me right now. Okay, that trick took me nine hours. That took me three trips as well, probably a total of about six hours. Um, did this pretty quick because small stair sets is sort of like what I'm best at, I would say. Um, not super impressive, but fun. Uh, this was a good day. I was out with a ton of good homies wearing one of the coolest shirts that I owned. I was very surprised that I landed that as quickly as I did. Good, uh, my friend did a trick back to back with that. That was really hard. It's pretty much my update. That was hard, that was hard. That was like the gist of everything I did. Probably would never skate a rail that big though. Thank you, Cliff Inglewood 12. This line I was crazy proud of. I was with a bunch of friends and uh, it was difficult. It took me forever. I'm gonna stop saying that because everything in this was hard. Super cool spot. Love stairs back to back. Okay, so this right here, I did this first and then it came out in a Nike video. Daryl Angel did a line with that same Switch 50, which was such a bummer. Um, but I still used it. And it was cool to think like, oh, this Nike guy used it. I'm cool. Same with like the next two tricks after that last one. That was the day I met Dale Decker. Pretty crazy. That day I was with Chris Jocelyn and he did alley oop tray hook over that rail. Pretty crazy. Um, and yeah, that's it right there. That day I was actually out with Birdhouse. We went out for two or three days and that was the second day and it was awesome. We stayed in town but it felt like we were taking some trip. Uh, super, super cool day. The next plan of the day is to meet at Courthouse Legends with a few amazing skateboards to try to get a little run in. But I'm taking the boosted board out in LA which is so different than New York because I have so much room to move around and there's nobody to worry about so I can just go as fast as I want. Pretty dope. Can you speak at my camera and tell us what's going on right now? 
I just came up here. I thought you guys would be gone, and I thought I'd be brummed out. We stayed here for you, dog. There's Dale Decker, there's Chris Rogers. Here's me, we're at Courthouse Legends right now, and I'm gonna go up to you and just bombard your session. What's happening, dog? What's up? What are you editing? I'm editing a video we filmed today. Is it going up tonight? Yeah. Ooh. I know, I know. Like... You guys pee on Jake Paul's dog or something? Nothing with Jake Paul. <laughs> okay, sorry. We're, done. we're not done with Jake Paul, but. <laughs> So Chris, recording. the reason this moment is significant is this is the first film you filmed of me in like a year and a half. So I, oh, it is, I have huh? to like really make this worth it. If I fall, I'm going to feel like a dumb aspirin. Well, if I fall, I'm going to Alright, let's then... do it. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. um, I haven't stopped clapping. I would high five you, but I can't stop doing this. <laughs> all right, all right, Nolly Trey and said. All right, Nolly Trey, give it my friend though. All right, first shot. I can smell your anger. Oh. Oh. Are you okay? I hit a rock. No. Or something. It was this giant ass. What was it? Oh, is that it? What the hell was it? Oh How close to the edge are you? Because that's like the death zone. No, do I don't know. I saved the camera though. I hit my elbow. Fuck. Oh, you <laughs> totally dodged the camera hitting the ground. Like you were totally, he went He went down for the camera. Oh, good? No, I'm good. Dude, what in the fuck? Okay. Are you nervous? <laughs> yeah. I'm more nervous than you are. Yeah, oh. I'm gonna go. Wow. Really good. Thank you. Should I back his A word up? Switch. I did. What the fuck? It sticks, dude. Just use the double flip. I, should I, we should just do like dumbass fly ground tricks before we do our trick. <laughs> Sick. I grabbed it. Oh. Sick. Are you pro or something? I got it. secure for no reason. It's like he knows how to skateboard. Yeah, but at the same time. What's up? What's up? What's up, dude? Yeah. Call me. I got more tricks in this part than John. How do you keep a front side nose grind? 10 easy ways to dip your french fries into 10 different sauces. We should just start making up titles like that. <laughs> I'm sure they'll do really good. And we'll start like a new Buzzfeed. I was really hoping that would have like bounced off, hit me in the teeth, and I would have knocked them all out so I never get laid again. Is there? Hey, oh my god. I have a, I actually have that same scar though, but it's a real scar. It's right there. I got, like, into, a, I got into a fight. Totally at, aren't we? I got into a fight at a hardcore show and some kid was like, Ugh. I like up? Metallica, and I was like, fuck Metallica, dude, and he was actually? like, what? No, but I did actually get into a fight. Oh, That's not like... what happened, but I did actually get What into happened? Fight. I don't know. I was like, fucking moshing, and he was like, <laughs> don't do that. My girlfriend's standing right there, and I was like, what are you going to do about it, bro? And he knocked your ass Equal out. rights. I'm just kidding. I don't know. <laughs> I did actually get into a fight. Nothing else is true, though. Okay. I can't see. Was it at a hardcore show? Yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> can't seem to tell that. an accurate story right now. Is it frowned upon to, like, poach other YouTubers' stuff and then post it on your channel? Uh, not for us. Oh, shit. Fuck, are you okay? Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm gonna fucking kill you. Ow! I kind of 
kind of got worked. How are you? I'm good. I jumped over it. Jesus Christ. I got worked dude. last time. Because I do not want to go to prison. I feel like this is the most footage we've ever gotten without like landing any tricks. Without landing any tricks? Yeah, I feel like we've landed like four tricks. I've landed a lot, I feel like. You have, you have. Yeah, but you got a slam, like I got a slam, tricks. that's two tricks, right? That's true, that is true. I've done, I've been doing flip tricks, so I feel like I've gotten a lot of footage. That was sick. Thanks. We actually did normal tricks. Peelies? Right. <laughs> That's the worst idea. Tyson Peterson, honestly, we could film us. Well, huge shout out to Chris Rogers, this guy standing right here for filming us. Uh, I actually moved to California with this guy. He filmed the entire part that you saw with all the footage. He's the man. Known him forever. Haven't filmed with him in like a year and a half. Dude, love him. Columbia, what's up? Represent South Carolina. Hi. I have no idea when the last time I filmed was, but now Sarah and I are back at the yard house location getting dinner because it's a perfect mixture of people who like to consume meatatures and people who like to consume plantatures. And here we are. I don't know if I've gotten any Sarah vibes in this vlog today. People want to see us be more affectionate. They were like, are you guys really dating? Because I haven't seen you guys get naked on camera yet. The fact that I've been behind a computer for 12 hours straight, I kind of feel like I'm dead. You look wonderful and you sound wonderful. Oh, your you. voice is built for a camera and your oh, looks are built you. for the queen of for presidency of the planet. Of the internet. That's what you are. <laughs> Somebody mentioned they like when I update outside, so here I am outside. Today was so long and exhausting. My legs are so tired, and usually that's a great sign of giving it your all that day. At the end of the day, you're like, I just wanna go to sleep and relax, but it's 9 p.m., so I'm gonna run for a couple more hours on computer stuff, but what a freaking awesome day. And I do have a quote of the night, and it's a very good one. It's one that I'm a super fan of, and it's by Andrew Carnegie, and it says, as I grow older, I pay less attention to what men say, I just watch what they do. It's all about the action because all of us can easily learn how to talk. You just watch a video of Gary Vaynerchuk talking about success, and then you just replicate what he says, and you can really sell yourself that way. But to be truly convinced, it is important to see what they actually do. Nine times out of 10, or 99 times out of 100, most likely they don't live up to what they're preaching about themselves. And there are the few that you could trick, but at the end of the day, you wanna be good at what you're talking about. You wanna have an exception, validity in something, an art or a craft. You wanna be exceptionally good at something to be able to talk about that thing. That's why with my videos recently, I haven't been as much like, yo, there are big things planned, there are big things coming, blah, blah, blah. I used to do that all the time, and I watched that in my videos, and it kind of, it's super cringy for me to see myself say that because I don't want to say that anymore. I wanna bring up updates and say, yo, announcement, announcement, announcement. From now on, those are gonna be my revelations or things that I talk about where I'm like, yo, there's something big coming. It's just gonna be an update of it actually happening. And that's it, look forward to tomorrow for more fun and hanging out skateboarding with all of your buddies and pals over here on the John Hill channel. I'm having an amazing time with Sarah. Uh, yeah, and a lot of people have been asking sort of about our living situation and what's happening with that. And I will try to inform you guys in tomorrow's video, but for tonight, we're tired, we're going to sleep, and I just wanna say, you guys are the best. I'm super stoked that you guys are here, uh, liking the video, subscribing, comment, all that stuff. Uh, I love the conversation, I love the engagement. It has been unreal, super supportive and cool, and you guys are the best. Love you so much, progress daily, and keep killing it.